Evelyn shuddered again, lying on her belly on a blanket in the shade. The sun had proven much too warm. She lay with her legs just parted, that he might reach his hand between them and take herself from behind. He put his fingers inside of this knife, and the sun upon the leaves cast them green shadows as Evelyn panted and thrust weakly at the blanket. Her river and contwet pa panties bunched up shamelessly between her buttocks. Slowly she quit her threats and thrusting and rested. Have I ever told you of my friend Anne? He asked, stretched out his <coughs> hand before her, leaning on his elbow. She shook her head. She'd never heard of Anne before. She's a woman like that. She likes you to use her? Evelyn asked. He nodded his head slowly. What is she like? Physically, he said, because it's easier, she's a very tall woman, six feet even, very Norwegian-looking, proportional. She has long, light brown hair that is very thick. It almost looks like it would feel rough, but it doesn't. I find her to be quite an attractive woman, and I think you would too, and a very interesting woman as well. But why, asked Evelyn, because at the most basic level, Submission brings her immense erotic pleasure. She is rendered helpless, sometimes physically, sometimes not, and she likes that. Her body becomes simply a vehicle for another's pleasure, generally mine. I wear the, the blue on that one. Generally mine. Nothing's her fault. <laughs> Nothing's her fault if she can't move, said Evelyn softly. Oh shit, I must have See what you did? So, so she really isn't that dirty, is she? Oh, she most certainly is, he replied. Beautifully so. She wants to be made vulnerable like that there. Her cunt gets wet when she imagines herself bad before others, so that her most intimate places are on display. Her ego disappears, and she becomes an object. And it is made all the better for Anne, because <coughs> she can do nothing more about it once she enters into that context. Wow, said Evelyn. May I watch you with her sometime? Am I a, a dirty girl, too? Evelyn wondered. Or maybe even a hoe? Jesus, that's it. Dirty girl? Yes, she could live with that, and it rather pleased her to think of herself that way. It was even sort of fun with Richard, surprising him and bringing him unexpected pleasure, however long it might last, which was not particularly long at all for Richard. She had bent over, naked, straight from the shower, little rivulets of water still glistening upon her skin, <coughs> bent so that he could see her. And what did he say? Evelyn, please, I can see your asshole. <laughs> well, Richard, that was the point. <laughs> and that was another reason her conscience did not bother her terribly. She rather thought Richard had come to lack the imagination necessary for venturing further afield. He could have if he wanted to. He was gone the better part of two weeks each month. It wouldn't have been so bad if he did. There had not been enough anything for a long time. <coughs> Evelyn stood in the bathroom before the long, before the big mirror wearing only a small pair of lazy panties, string bikinis that barely covered her bottom. She slipped the soft fabric between her cheeks and smoothed it. She liked the look, the fabric disappearing between her buttocks tight against her. Evelyn had a nice ass and she never wore a thong. Anne thinks the idea is intriguing, he said to her one morning over the phone. This scared Evelyn. 
Why was she never careful what she fucking wished for? She took a great breath. She does, was all Evelyn could manage in response. I told her about you, honestly and completely. She knows of your life and what we've shared. And she very much appreciates your curiosity and your hesitation as well. She would like you to watch. She was shaken, and her panties were wet. Will I have to touch her? And does have some things that are stipulations of a sword. For watching, Evelyn asked in a soft voice. Yes, he said. You will be in your panties when she arrives, and you will be blindfolded for a bit. Evelyn felt a bit like me, <coughs> until Anne is ready, and then she will be blindfolded as well, and yours will be taken off, so that we aren't able to make eye contact. Evelyn thought that was a wonderful idea. She wasn't sure she'd be able to meet this woman's eyes. Darling, she said slowly, will she be hungry for me? He laughed gently from the other end of the line. Anyone in their right mind will see you and be hungry love. He let that thought trail off while I was digested all this. What will you do, she asked him. Whatever I please. <coughs> Richard was in the mood to fuck. And Evelyn felt his hands upon her bottom reaching around to stroke her pubic hair, his stiff cock brushing insistently against the backs of her thighs. It wasn't quite the same as her lover, but she enjoyed her husband's urgency as well. Richard was a little easier to take care of than that other man, devil, whatever he was. She took hold of Richard and turned around to kiss him fully. Richard, <coughs> my husband, she thought, placing his hand upon her cup. Tonight, you shall make me come. Evelyn knew how to work her man after so many years. And she held him off, making him touch her, placing her hand over his so that he touched her as she pleased. Only when she was ready, when the great and wondrous abyss opened before her in all its promise of mind clouding and enveloping, and she rolled over onto her knees and bare herself for her husband allowing him to mount her. Look at my asshole, Richard. It is beautiful, she will. And before Richard slipped his hasty cock into her, he felt the need to gently part his wife's buttocks and marvel at the beauty of her open cunt. Such a wonder, as he thought. Pity your asshole so nearby. Evelyn gladly let her husband use her, taking her by the hips and filling her his belly, slapping her loosely against her bottom, and the shouts of, it, of her pleasure brought him quickly to release. He slid out of her as she slumped forward, his cock shrieking and stinky, sticky against her flank. A serviceable lover, Richard, from whatever soft and slightly muddled place she had landed, Evelyn could only think of that moment. Why don't 